Hi, I'm Claude Barreto from Apex Electronics. In this video, I'd like to walk you through the process of setting up your electrosquare electrodes, how to moisten the uh, cellulose pads, get them ready for stimulation with the proper level of saline so that you don't use too much or too little. Stick around, we'll be right back. Installing the cables on your electrosquare electrodes is another very easy step. The new version of the cable, the, of the electrodes, have these um, specially designed custom metal plates inside. All you need to do is insert the cable into the electrode, as such. Then you do the same thing to the other electrode. See, it's securely in there, it's not going anywhere. What you have inside the electrosquare electrode are these custom made plates. And what you're doing when you're inserting the cable is you're inserting the banana plug right inside this loop. So what you want to do is you want to ensure that the electrode corresponding plate is centered accordingly. And uh, usually all it's really required is for you to insert it and, and, and put it in. If you want to make sure that the plate is inserted on metal, you could open the electrode and inspect it to be sure. But it is a very straightforward process as you can see. So the next step you're going to take is you're going to make sure that your electrodes are soaked enough, saturated enough with saline so that they become effective uh, conductors for TDCS session. I could just go ahead and pour this over this, these electrodes over a sink perhaps and get them soaked enough, but uh, it won't do for this particular setting. So if you want to use an open container, that's also a very good idea. Make sure the electrodes are soaked enough in water. So when you insert them in saline solution, what's going to happen is the uh, sponge insert, the cellulose insert, is going to soak up. So once you soaked one electrode in, go ahead and soak the other one in. And let's uh, see if we can take a nice shot of the, how absorbent these uh, sponges are. See, they soak up the moisture really well. Once you insert them in, they really grow a couple of uh, times their size. And it's okay for the sponge to have a bulge in the middle. Once the electrode is pressed in between your skin or whatever you, you're placing it, in between the skin and the, um, the headbands, this sponge really goes down in size. Now what you end up with are a pair of very highly saturated electrodes. See, they're very wet. We're going to use the natural uh, tool that we have here, these holes at the bottom of the electrode's shell. We're going to use that as a, a sort of like a drain or exhaust for the water. So what you do is you hold the, the electrode's sponge sides touching, and you're basically going to give it a good... Me, you basically hold the, the electrodes together, and you're going to give it a good squeeze. See? So what you're doing here is you're basically squeezing the excess water from these electrodes. You want that to be as wet as possible to go through your hair, but not so wet that you, you're having it drip over your face. Once you have the electrodes in, in this condition, even the shells are wet. But you don't want that. You want to avoid having the shells too wet. So I would use a towel or paper towels and gently just pat the excess water out of the electrodes. So the, you know, once you place them inside your headband, they're not, they're no longer all wet. See? So now what you have a perfect, you can feel the moisture. If you touch it with your thumbs, you're going to feel the moisture on the, on the, uh, 
on the uh, sponge, but they're not going to, you see, you're not going to have any uh, runoff if you squeeze them. Another thing that's important for care and maintenance of your electrodes and uh, cables is that to make sure that they, after each stimulation session, that you remove the cables and that you, you can leave the electrodes as they are. You don't need to disassemble them. You don't need to remove any of the parts internally. Every six months or so you need new sponges, but that's just about it. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove the cables, you're going to dry them, and you're going to make sure that even though they're heavy duty and they're corrosion resistant, that they are dry and rinsed after each stimulation session. That'll make them last for a long time. <music>